Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Miscast. Miscast movie reviews, and I'm loving this mic. Ooh, I love this mic. It feels so good. Here's Uh, what do you think of our new set, guys? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Our second episode, we we spent some money. Yeah, we we spent some money. We spent some money. Where, where did we get all these pops from? Uh, random stuff. Uh, beggars on the side of the road, cool. outside movies. Garage uh, sales. Garage sales. Dumpster diving. eBay maniacs. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Uh, this um, episode is not sponsored by Amazon. Or uh, pops. Not yet. Or pops. <laughs> But these are some of the things that we enjoy, Amazon and yeah, Pops. Yeah, definitely. So this is our movie review. And uh, hey, we're getting used to these new mics. I miss having my oven right here. With the skillet. Uh, with the skillet. <laughs> so I don't know how the hell we're going to heat things up. But I think we're going to heat things up with uh, some cool reviews, maybe. With our movie review of... Extinction. Yeah. I was like, I, it, the movie was so bad that I can't even remember the name of it. <laughs> oh, so, so are we reviewing it already? Are we critiquing? <laughs> Let's let's get right just, into yeah. it. Let me let me bust let's, out our how uh, bad show was notes. it? Um, so uh, it starred Michael Pena, who uh, uh, Pena Pe Pena oh Pena. Well, it has that little thing on yeah, the top it's of the end. It's called the Pena in Spanish. The it's Enye. like a like piñata. Piñata. Pena. Pena. Michael Michael Pena. Michael Pena. I'm not saying it right, am I? <laughs> Close enough. It's better than Michael Pena. Because uh, Pena. Pena Pena in Spanish actually means uh, embarrassment. Oh, I thought you were going to say like penis or something. No, that's Pinga. <laughs> and Michael Pinga, Mike Pinga would be a great porn name. But um, no, Michael, Michael Pena is a great actor. Dirt Pinga. And uh, his roles in the, the Marvel movies, uh, mainly Ant-Man. His scenes in Ant-Man were just amazing. I think he was one of the best parts of Ant-Man. I thought, yeah, I thought he, he would definitely like were, were some of the best. So his scenes were definitely some of the best parts in the yeah. movie. And that is pretty much the only reason why I thought we should review this movie, Extinction, because he plays uh, the main character. I, I Well, that's not why I thought you picked it. I thought you picked it because it was the newest release from Netflix, and it actually looked like it had a decent shot of being a good movie. So. I, that, well, that's what I told you, uh, just so <laughs> we could lied. watch it. Uh, because lied. Michael Pena, I just wanted to see what he could do in the title role. I thought he did good in the title role. I mean, honestly, it was easy to be like a boring sub subhuman character. <laughs> All things considered, he was the best part of the movie. Yes, but that's saying a lot. Because... That is saying a lot because I think literally uh, the telescope that he buys in the movie probably had more personality than the majority of the actors in the I, movie. I honestly had no idea what that... We'll get into that. Okay, so sorry. Yeah. Let's just start who, with who's in it, all right? So we got Lizzie Kaplan, who plays Alice, his wife. Mm -hmm. um, she also played Sarah in Freaks and Geeks, which I heard a lot about, but I honestly have no... I've never watched it. I've never watched it. But it was apparently popular in the 90s, late 90s, and then I early know 2000s. Seth Rogen was in it, and... Oh, um, that's why it's so familiar. I, and James I, Franco, that's where they yep. sort of oh, like yes, uh, yes, solidified yes, their yep, bond. Yep. Um, that's, but uh, no, I never watched it. She was Marlena in Cloverfield, so... Um, yeah, and, and this movie had a little bit of a Cloverfield vibe to it. Definitely had a Cloverfield vibe. I mean, I, I could see that they were trying to go there in a way. Um, I kind of got like, I think we, uh, we discussed this before the show, that it had more like a Black Mirror extended episode feel to it. The, the movie did feel like a two-hour Black Mirror episode. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I mean, but you said uh, uh, earlier it was dystopian, but I didn't get dystopian. Like it wasn't like the society was crumbling. It was no, but it was. It had this whole like clean feel to it. It felt like futuristic, and there was a there was a certain sense that um, there was these rules governing everybody. Even though I mean, it wasn't. I mean, nothing in the movie was very well explained. I don't think they went into detail really. But much but the fact that that some some things. There was something odd about this world that they lived in, and we really couldn't figure it out until, until the twist. Well, I kind of like subconsciously figured it out. Like right in the beginning, I was writing my notes. I, I wrote down, uh, has a Stepford Wives feel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like it, it was just the way I, I thought that immediately when I saw the, the little girl in the elevator. I was like, man, she's so like 
rigid and clean and like forced. It just feels like she's not real. Right. So it ended up being that. Hey, she. Hey, spoilers by the oh, way, shit. guys. Okay. Spoilers. Yeah. Like, not, uh... yeah. <laughs> so spoiler uh, city. Do we want to talk about what this movie's about? Yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Um, so uh, it was originally originally it was going to be made by Universal and directed by uh, Joe Johnson. Uh, who actually is a really amazing director, sure. apparently. He did Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Amazing. The Rocketeer. Uh, I I actually grew, I grew up loving that movie. It was I one of the did first. Not. I did oh, come on. If you heard the music, I think it would be some nostalgia going on. Maybe. I don't know. It was a little, it was a little too corny for me. I, I'm not a big fan of The Rocketeer. All right. So we'll skip The Rocketeer. How about Jumanji? Ooh, um... Man, everybody's gonna hate me, but I really I'm not a big fan of Jumanji. Well, me neither. So no, okay. one's, no one on this panel is gonna. We're hate gonna you. share the hate because <laughs> there's a there's a large group of people who love Jumanji. Yeah. Well, I mean, the second one I think was kind of better than the first one. It was fun. I think so. I thought it, it was a sense. way funner movie. Uh, plus, had The Rock and Jack Black, so you can't go wrong with had that. Karen Gillan and skimpy shorts. I'm not going to argue with that either. Yes, yes. Everybody was so pissed off about those shorts, but hey, we're getting off the tangent. Yes, okay. Uh, so he he uh, he was going to take it, and it was going to star uh, James McAvoy, but uh, I guess that was two years ago, so it got kind of like canned. And, I think um, with James McAvoy and Joe Johnson, it would have been this amazing blockbuster, yeah. very different than what we saw. I think the twist would have still been there. It should have been like an M. Night Shyamalan. Here we go back into Shyamalan. I what mean, a twist. M. Night Shyamalan, I think, could have. this would have been a great sci-fi movie for him. But if he would have directed it, we would have anticipated some sort of twist, which I, th- I think sort of ruined it. The trailers for Extinction just made it feel like Michael Pena's character was kind of going crazy uh it made me feel like the movie um uh take shelter with um michael shannon where he has all these nightmares that ends up uh, disrupting his marriage because he feels that this uh impending doom is coming and of course nobody believes him so it leads him to build this shelter and and that's what michael pena's character seemed like he was having all these nightmares and for some reason, he decided to tell everybody that he knows that he's having these nightmares because the first half hour of this movie is everybody looking at Michael Pena. Hey, are you getting him asleep? Uh, should, he, should you go see the doctor? Should you get some help? And um, I don't know. If I was going through, like I kept thinking, what if I start going through all these nightmares that I think like the world is going to end or aliens are going to come invade? I probably would not tell anybody because everybody was just going to think I'm crazy and give me pills. Or you would be crazy and you put it on social media and you do weird YouTube videos and you'd say like the world's going to end. <laughs> I don't know. That generally doesn't end well for people. No, and not never. I mean, look at Roseanne. So <laughs> yes, she took a lot of pills and started saying some crazy stuff. Yeah. I will so. never touch Ambien. Like, not no, ever. no, no well, Ambien, guys. No, no Ambien. Ambien's bad. We do not support <laughs> Ambien. Unless Ambien wants to donate to the show, I mean, yes. maybe. If Ambien would like to donate to the show, we'll be happy to do a two-minute commercial at the beginning or the yeah. end or maybe even the middle just for right. giggles. Um, but we'll still say we don't condone it. So. We don't condone it no. unless they pay us. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I actually kind of enjoyed the um, – I enjoyed the fact that there was a twist because I expected that he was having future visions. The fact that they were the past memories, I thought, was one of the more redeeming parts of the whole movie. Yes. Because I, I was like, all right, cool. It's like he's remembering stuff. and But the whole reason why they forgot and like just the fact that they weren't prepared for the invasion, which they knew was going to come. like They had this super awesome gun on the back of the train. Right. But they didn't have like ground to air stuff. Right. (laughs) Come on. That was one of the things. I mean, (laughs) the movie suffers from tons and tons of plot holes. Yeah. Probably the worst thing going for the movie is just um, just really, really bad writing. Because, I mean, the apparently there's a certain amount of people that know the humans are coming back to take their plan or they think that there's a danger that the humans are going to come back to take the planet. When we finally find out that all the characters that we've been watching throughout the whole movie are actually robots, we also learn that they're not being attacked by aliens. They're actually being attacked by humans who inevitably had to run off to Mars. Why? I don't Why didn't they at least explain that? 
I felt like we were missing information all yeah. over the place. There has there has to be factions of people who remained on Earth, right? And and are hiding somewhere. I and agree. Kind of like a la the Terminator movie with Christian Bale. So like all these robots right. take over, and the humans just kind of like huddle up. They gather resources. They build up their military. And then they plan, like, okay, how are we going to get our Earth back? Right. In this movie, humans just say, oh, screw it. The, ali- the robots took over. Let's just go to Mars. Why? Just like that. Let's just go. Hey, let's pack up and go to Mars. And then old boy is like, well, my grandfather did that and the resources are scarce. And we use, like, all our resources to make bullets and guns and come yeah. back to take a city. And that busted ass <laughs> armor that they have with, like, these weird green bubbles. That was just a fool, I think, the I don't audience. No, I mean, I kept thinking, okay, well, if you had to build some sort of armor on Mars, what, what would this do? It, a lot of things just, just were not explained. Right. Yeah, no, it was bad. It was bad. Um, and, okay, so, like, knowing that humans are going to come back, why forget? Why have your memories erased? Why don't you prime everybody up for the next invasion so when you do get attacked again, you're ready? But no. Nobody was ready. Nobody had anything going on. Their plan was to hop on a train and hide in the mountains and then figure out how to get the earth back from the humans. Well, not even hide in the mountains. It was like they didn't even have a they had the the bridge go down in the water, which is stupid. Like, why not build a gun yes. that aims at the sky? <laughs> you know? And, and why block off the entrance where you can't open the door? It makes no sense. Yeah, now they're trapped. Uh, Luke Cage's character, I thought, was completely useless. He, he also right. made no sense. Like, what was the guy working on? It looked like some kind of time machine tunnel. Right. Like, it seemed like that had a significant meaning, the way that they showpieced it in, in the scene. Yeah. It had no meaning. No. Nothing in there. They had pathetic, weak amounts of like weaponry. It was like they found it on the floor two days ago, but they had been there for 50 years. Right. I, I didn't understand anything. And I thought, you know, it seemed like also at the end they were setting it up for some kind of TV show spinoff. Like, this is never over. Right. He's like, I'm Luke Cage. I'm bulletproof. <laughs> and, and this is never over. <laughs> Well, in, in that scene where you see the, the tunnel go into the um, when you see the train go into the tunnel and you see that beautiful like forest and the mountains and stuff. Yeah. I kept thinking, damn, why didn't the humans just land there and yeah. just sort of kind of like live there? Yeah. You right. Know? No one known. <laughs> or what they could have done is slowly infiltrate. The, the, the robot community just kind of like send a couple guys down first. You don't have to send the whole army, send a couple guys down and then they'll be like, oh, hey, you know, we're robots, too. You know, let's let's hang out, <laughs> you know, and eventually they can learn what the robots are doing, maybe kill off the leaders, do something smart like that. But they their plan was to literally land with a bunch of ships, blow up all the buildings and then go door to door, killing everybody that they see. I did not. I did made no sense. And there they was, send the most scrubby soldiers. Like yeah. my, there's a scene where Michael Pena just grabs an alien gun. He, you know, he gets some wires. He figures out how to hack it, and then he blasts like all these like human warriors that came down to take their planet back. Like Michael Pena, like his job, he wasn't like some military guy. His job was to plug things in. That's yeah. all he did in the movie. He plugged things in. And then he plugged things out, and then he went home to be with his family. Yeah. Like, there's no reason he should be that good with weaponry. I think he was the time machine charging uh, agent. Like, his job is to charge the time fluctuation device. And somehow this (laughs) gives him the innate ability to be amazing with weapons. It's the shirt. It was the collar. It's got 33% on Rotten Tomatoes, so I think that speaks for itself. That's a um, well-deserved Rotten I think it's a little high, actually. I mean, it, it had some good points, but in the end, I think that, that, that it should be probably more like a 20%. I mean, Batman v Superman, isn't that hovering around like 30%? I mean, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, too. But uh, I, I, the thing about this movie is that, I honestly, when I was watching it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it like oh, I, I enjoy it. watching uh, an episode of any sort of, you know, um, episode of a Black Mirror. I was like, okay, it was interesting. But as soon as the epi- as soon as the movie was over, I just started thinking about man. Well, that was stupid. Why did they do that? And that was stupid. Or why didn't <laughs> they do this? And that I think, I, you know, thinking about it afterwards really like n- 
Now I'm shitting on the show and the movie. Well, if it was a Black Mirror episode, I think that it would have gotten a lot more respect from us yeah. entirely. And it would have been 30 minutes long or yeah. something. Well, it would have been uh, 45 minutes. I think there are 60 minutes because they're straight yeah. up cable like they're straight up netflix this definitely would have been a great black mirror episode. yeah it would have been cool i'd have dug it especially the twist would have made w way more like impact on me yes. because i'd have been like oh it's that black mirror twist you know yeah. there's always that weird crazy shit at the right. end of a black mirror episode that makes it awesome um i did find it fascinating that uh michael what is it pena 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 what's penis pinga michael pinga and mike colter <laughs> Pena and Coulter mm -hmm. uh, were both in uh, Clint Eastwood's Million Dollar Baby. Million Dollar Baby. That's right. Yeah. Um, That's right. I think uh, Pena <laughs> watched uh, was Danger get his ass kicked by uh, Falcon. And um, mm. Mike Coulter was the guy in the beginning who had the cut on his eye that closed up. That was his original uh, little protege kind of That's boxer. That's right. He thing. ends up leaving uh, Clint Eastwood's character. Yeah. To go to, a, I guess, a better manager or something, get better deals. Anybody that can shove a Q-tip in your wounds that well, I don't know why you want to leave them. No. Especially it's like... It's love, I think. He, well, he, he left to become Luke Cage. He went to jail. Just a Q-tip, as they <laughs> say. It's a good... Overall, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fair movie to have in the background while you're ironing or vacuuming or doing something like really loud and noisy where you don't need to pay attention to anything that's happening. If the long guy's out there using the weed blower and he really don't give a shit what's on TV, that's probably right. the thing you want on TV. So. Right. But uh, Michael Pena, I think he's, he's great. I would like to see him in more movies. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, for sure. Just better ones. Yeah, I mean, it was good to see him in his leading role. I mean, they always start strange. I mean, look at our first episode. Yeah. It was pretty, you know, echoey. Echo, echo. Not anymore. <laughs> look at these mics. <laughs> they're so smooth. And they're not phallic symbols at all. No. No. I don't have my mouth next to anything phallic-y. This thing's <laughs> right in front of my face. <laughs> and it's it's got a large tip. How come you got the black one? Uh, well, I, I was thinking, um, you know, we're both, uh, ethnic -y, mm -hmm. and I was like, but I'm, I'm wow, darker. So this is like, a, this I'm is darker. E this so. is ethnic, ethnic <laughs> <laughs> appropriate. No, I, I just, uh, I don't know why I yeah, have the black one. I think one. Sub subconsciously <laughs> the decision was made, but we'll leave it up to you guys. Yeah. Comment below yes. with, uh, why that happened why in your that mind. Happened. That's coincidence or not. Um, all right, so thanks for watching this episode, and uh, I hope you guys appreciate the new set. Uh, we put a lot of work into it. Uh, yeah. Leave a comment below and tell us what you think about it, and uh, tell me what pops we're missing. Maybe we'll, we'll, well get one of Speaking of missing, are we missing something? Are we missing? I, I don't know. I'm not missing anything. Where's Greg? Oh, that guy. Oh, well, our, our co-partner, Misfit uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gregory is uh, taking some personal time uh, for a couple episodes, and he'll be back um, in full-fledged Gregness. Um, so, yeah, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, wait, let me say that again. Give us a like or give us a subscribe, please, or a dislike, one or the other. Give us a dislike. Give, just give the us, most just dislikes dislike. are the coolest. Yeah. Um, I tried to check the other day, and I can't figure out who's liking and disliking, so... Uh, we've got several likes. I don't think we've got any dislikes yet. <laughs> no. But so they haven't it. seen this episode, so who knows? Oh, no. When they see this episode, they'll be like, yeah, all right, so the freaking background is killer, but the episode sucks. The yes. front ground <laughs> like, is so. yeah. garbage. <laughs> so, like, uh, all right, give us a subscribe, give us a like, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Later, guys. Peña. Peña. Peña.